I'm back with another patch 7 video before the patch has even come out. But don't worry, today I've got a lot of important information to talk about starting off with the panel from Hell 5. Day has now been revealed and it's going to take place on February 15th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. And that's all I have to talk about. But for the sake of the YouTube algorithm, make sure to stick around because we're going to dive right into their tweet. I'm going to show you their animations. I'm going to convert the time zones for you guys. And we're going to also speculate a little bit more. Let's go check it out. Okay. Over here on the Larian Studios Twitter page, Patch 7 approaches. Join us February 15th for a live look at what awaits you in panel from hell. Oh, I forgot the, uh, the right there. Someone's getting fired. In the panel from hell, fifth edition, instead of the panel from hell five, pretty clever right there. In the meantime, please tweet us all of your wildest speculations about what's coming next. And I will click on this tweet so we can see some people's speculations. But first, let me bring you guys over to the time conversions in this highly creative document that I put together, okay? All right, so the panel from Hell 5 is gonna be on February 15th for those of you in California, Pacific time at 10 a.m., 1 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. for those of you in the UK, 7 p.m. for those of you in Belgium where Larian Studios is located, 9 p.m. in Moscow, 11 p.m. Pakistan, and then actually on the next day, February 16th, it's gonna be at 1 a.m. in Thailand, 3 a.m. in Korea, 5 a.m. for Sydney, Australia, and of course, I can't leave out New Zealand, which it will take place at 7 a.m. on New Zealand. So make sure all of you folks are awake because the live experience is the best. All right, hopping back over to the tweet. Before I click on it, let me bring you guys to a full screen version of this animation because it is quite exciting. If that doesn't get you hyped, then I don't know what will. It seems like this panel from hell is probably going to be one of the bigger panel from hells with a lot of production and a lot of information. Otherwise, they wouldn't go all out like this. And it looks like we're in some tavern location. You can see blood on the stool right here, a spilt drink. It seems like this tavern might be located in an area that is quite cold, perhaps the mountain pass, not entirely sure. And then you guys can see the sword and the ax that they talked about in a previous tweet right here. Most people are predicting that it's gonna be the barbarian class right now, but none of us actually really know. All right, let's click on the tweet now and see what people are saying while this speculation a eh? baguette weapons <laughs> that's pretty funny i didn't see any baguettes in the picture maybe they are there's definitely salamis in the back if you guys notice that Murphy says monk improvised weapons and new reaction system i think a new reaction system would be awesome for this patch um monk is always a possibility of course and then improvised weapons is an interesting prediction so those of you guys that don't know what those are in DD, an improvised weapon is just when you pick up something in the environment and then you use it as a weapon so if you pick up a leg of a chair it will count as a club so there's a lot of possibilities with the improvised weapons and the tavern scene kind of does make you feel like that could be a thing in baldur's gate 3 and their previous tweets that pointed towards the Barbarian could also kind of mean improvised weapons. Now, on the topic of improvised weapons, somebody else brought up the Tavern Brawler feat, which is an interesting prediction. And the Tavern Brawler feat reads as, accustomed to the rough and tumble fighting using whatever weapons happen to be at hand, you get to increase your strength or con by one. You're proficient with improvised weapons, like we talked about a second ago. Your unarmed strikes use a D4 for damage. And when you hit a creature with an unarmed strike or an improvised weapon on your turn, you can use a bonus action to attempt to grapple the target. So Larian told us before that grappling is not going to be in the game. Maybe they're actually changing their mind on that. Or perhaps if they do bring the Tavern Brawler feat, there'll be a different benefit to this part of the feat. A lot of people, of course, are saying the Barbarian class. And I'm also seeing controller support quite a lot on my videos and on social media. So Larian Studios, if you're watching this, I think you have a large community that wants better controller support. I'm sure it will be there when the game officially launches, but I'm not sure about early access. Clint down here says, I'm actually going to guess there will be a mountain pass zone added. I never expected to get any more areas in early access, but I think this could be a possibility. And here's one other thing that I found regarding the mountain pass tweet. If we go over to Sven Vinka's Twitter page, and he's the creative director and owner of Larian Studios, he retweeted the panel from Hell announcement and said, lots and lots of fun this one will be. I just hope it'll be a cold day. 
So perhaps we are getting another chunk of, of Act 1, and we can head into the Mountain Pass, maybe towards the Gif Yankee Crash. That would be absolutely phenomenal. And the last thing I'll talk about is a lot of people have been mentioning um, Valentine's Day, which is on February 14th. As you guys can see, Larian Studios has been tweeting about Valentine's Day with merch and stuff like that. So perhaps that's an indicator towards some more romance options or fixed romance scenes. Honestly, I have no idea. And that's it for today. In terms of the actual release date for the patch itself, Self, we don't know and we'll probably know on the day of the panel from hell sometimes they release a patch on the same day as the panel from hell right after sometimes it's a couple days after just not entirely sure and that's all i have to talk about today so yeah that's a lesson on how to draw a 30 second announcement into a five minute video i appreciate you guys that stuck around for the entire video and let me know if you enjoy these more laid back videos where we just talk about things i'll of course never stop with the higher quality videos where i put together a production experience for you guys but sometimes you just got to kick it back so february 15th be ready and i'm drawing this out even more so that's it goodbye